What's up guys, welcome to today's video of learning more about the punch attacks as a preparation for Xian Ying. As we know, Xian Ying is one of the most unusual support that allows anyone to use punch attack in any combat just like Xiao. Since this plunging gameplay was literally exclusive to Xiao, most of you probably didn't know about just how exactly punch attack works on all other characters aside from him. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all things that you should really know about the punch attack to help you get the most out of Xiang Yun's support. So without further ado, let's get into the Pogo guide right now. Let's roll! But before going into more of that, let me ask you a question. Are you still buying Welkins or Crystals to the regular in-game store? If you do, Stop doing that right now and check out loopbar.gg for 20% more discount. Not only it offers a much better price, but it's also a very trustworthy platform with fast and secure transactions. All top ups are done via the official Hoyoverse loop, so you won't miss out any double bonus if you haven't used it yet. What's even better is, if you're new to this platform, you'll get another 5% discount on your first purchase. So basically instead of $100, it's only $75 for the highest amount of crystals, saving you almost 30 bucks just like that. So be sure to check out loopbar.gg in case you're in need of any extra primal gems. Links in the description. Alright, so the absolute first thing you need to know about the plunge attack is the animation cancel. If you ever try plunging repeatedly against this boss, you definitely notice it's not exactly a smooth gameplay at all. This footage was me mindlessly spamming jump and attack, and you can see just how ridiculous it looks like. It's slow, clunky, frustrating, and most importantly, it's totally no fun at all. But once you start cancelling its animation, it becomes so much better than before. To do this, Right after your plunge reaching the ground, immediately follow up with a dodge or normal attack to cancel your plunge animation. This will allow you to jump once again for another plunge attack. With enough practice, you can even cancel the normal attack itself. This will allow you to spam plunge attack in a very quick succession which massively boosts your DPS. With this little trick, not only it makes spamming plunge attack far more smoother than before, but also, you can consistently do high air plunge without worrying about opening the glider to limit air. This trick works on most characters, including the archers and catalysts. Only it's the most effective on claymore users as they have the longest animation if you don't cancel it manually. Speaking about animation, for some reason, Bene has the fastest plunge animation among all characters. It's probably a bug or something, but this has been a thing ever since version 1.0. Since he is able to infuse Pyro as CCs, he might have the potential to be one of the best plungers in the game, especially when combined with the next trick. One of the best part about the plunge attack is the internal cooldown. All plunge attack has independent ICD which means you're able to do reaction for every single punch attack. This is a very powerful mechanic that allows you to massively improve your punch damage, especially with Vaporize, Melt, and Dendua Quicken. For your contest, this is very similar to Hukao who is able to Vaporize on every charge attack to massively boost its damage. Only this time around, you have far more options than just Vaporize with Xiang Yun's punch attack. Since she's also giving a strong damage buff to your punch attack, my best bet is on Vaporize and Melt which are able to amplify her buff once more. That's why I'm looking forward to seeing just how strong it is on Dilu and Will. But of course, that doesn't mean other versions are bad. I'm sure there'll be some unexpected characters that'll do exceptionally well with this Bogle play. So once you get your hands on her, don't be shy to try her out with any DPS you like, especially for those with weapon infusion. Speaking about DPS, the multiplayers for plunge attacks are actually different for each weapon type. In general, 
Claymore has the highest scaling, followed by the Sword and Spear, and then finally the weakest bow and catalyst. But of course, this counts with some exceptions. For some reason, Ito and Razor has even higher multipliers than their Claymore peers, reaching 404% at level 10. Besides, both Katoha and Xiao are also at the same tier despite using Sword and Spear. The latter is more understandable as plunging is already part of their own skill. But for Ito and Reza, who knows? On the other hand, Hu Tao has the lowest plunge scaling among all spears. For your information, that's only slightly stronger than her own charge attack. Considering plunging takes more time than a charge attack, it's not recommended for her to abandon her own charge attack gameplay to go for plunge unless you are C0 Hu Tao. Anyway, the most interesting part is definitely Dilute. He has the absolute highest plunge multiplier, reaching 442 at level 10. This is exactly why everyone is talking about Dilute's Xianyun combo. He's a pyro Claymore who can easily double his plunge damage with weapons. Even the devs approved this on the live stream as they literally showcased Xianyun's power with Dilute. By the way, there's actually one character that's even stronger than Dilu in plunge attack. Feminate. Thanks to his C3 increasing his normal attack talent, he beats Dilu by a merely 3%. But since he's a 4 star character, his space attack is much lower than Dilu. So at the end of the day, Dilu still remains as the king of plunge attack. Aside from Xiao, obviously. <laughs> but before going into the next part, there's a very special case in this part that you should definitely know about it. As we know, Raiden's Burst converts all her attacks into burst damage in order to receive the buffs from the album of server fat artifact. So although she's able to use plunge attack during her burst, it's still considered as burst damage, so most probably she won't receive any buff from Xian Yun. This interaction makes her the only character in the game that cannot be buffed by Xian Yun despite actually using the plunge attack. Welcome to the family, says Hydro Man. The last one is quite a common knowledge. If you're Xiao Man, then you definitely already know this. If you plunge just close enough to enemy's body, you deal 2 damage instead of 1. This second damage comes from you hitting the body of the enemy during the mid-air. This is 100% intended gameplay, as its multiplier is literally written in your talent. Besides, this technique works on all kinds of enemies, not just the boss. But of course, the bigger their size, the easier for you to do this. Since we've only really used it with Xiao, you probably didn't know that this damage doesn't apply any elements. So no need to worry about applying too much element onto the enemies. But then again, that also means it won't receive any benefit of version 2. Besides, it doesn't seem like Xiang Yun's buff can work on it too. So just think of it as a small bonus damage when out against large enemies. Alright, so that's all for this video. I sincerely hope anyone who is going for Xiaoyun can benefit from this guide. But most importantly, I wish you all have a good luck on your pools. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next Wednesday.